All right, hi. Um, hope for change here. Uh, my name is also Billy, like in re in real life, and uh, I'm going to be doing my video today on silver. It's uh, uh, one of my favorite elements. It isn't the rarest, um, and it does tarnish. Uh, it oxidizes, uh, which is a property of metal. Uh, basically, it just means it rusts. Um, it oxidizes with air. Um, not all metals just oxidize with air. Um, but usually when we're talking with metals, when you're wearing it in like, or not necessarily wearing it, but even if you're just, if it's bullion or, uh, if it's out in the air, it's, it's going to oxidize or react, obviously, with that, with uh, whatever the composition of the air is, right? But, yes, so, most metals react mainly with oxygen, but, uh, so like gold and palladium and platinum and iridium, uh, there's other metals, but uh, those ones I'm just gonna name. Uh, those metals do do not oxidize. And what? Uh, so basically, if uh, there was like a ring or something, and you lost it in the woods, like if no one found that ring, like two thousand years later, it would still be there. Like, it would not have rusted. It would not have oxidized. Same thing, okay? Um, now, silver would. So, now, if it actually, like, if, if it was just left in nature, like, if you lost a silver piece or, like, a coin or a jewelry or whatever, if it was there for, like, 2,000 years, now, when it oxidizes, it would form, like, a layer over top of it, which actually serves to, like, it would serve to protect the piece also because by creating a coating of rust around it it's going to protect it from the air exposure around it so it would slow down or hamper the process of the oxidization so it might still be there but it would still be damaged and it would have uh, it would be rusted essentially okay but silver is still really interesting and uh, a long, long time ago, like uh, before 1931 or whatever, when like the gold standard was still around, um, silver was still used for currency. Like it was used in coins, and it was considered money. So even though it oxidizes, uh, humanity still sees it as very precious because it also has very precious qualities. Okay, because uh, it is also the only metal that is good for human growth. Um, humans actually benefit from it. Um, you see with silver, you can actually, um, if you go to the drugstore, and if you, don't, if you don't believe me on this, you can go to the shoppers, drug mart, any drugstore will have this. Um, Band-aids. Um, ask them if they have any band-aids that have silver in them. Or if you don't want to ask them, just use your eyes and look around, okay? And you will probably I don't know if you'll be able to find them at the first store that you look at, but they have them, okay? Or just, if you don't even, if you don't want to go out, um, like shopping or whatever, just go to eBay, type in silver band-aids, and you'll find stuff, okay? So, what's really neat about silver is that, and it isn't the metal, the silver, actually, it's the oxidized silver. And, well, it's not the oxidized silver, it's, so much, it's, hard, for me to, it's hard for me to explain this, okay? Um, because silver oxidizes, it serves as like almost an antioxidant or uh, anti, like as it's oxidizing, it actually has antiviral properties. Like when it oxidizes, it's emitting, like there's a reaction going on, which destroys bacteria and viruses, um, lots of uh, life uh, harming things. Um, most metals are not this way. If you were to have a cut and you put like, hey, let's just paint some mercury on it. That is not good for you. Um, gold is very non-reactive. So if you put that on a cut, uh, like if you just like placed a, like some gold on it, it's not going to really, it might have like some metaphysical stuff, but chemical wise, it's not going to do anything. It's, it will not react with anything in your body. Um, but... <clears throat> The point of this is that most metals, if they're non-reactive or very inert, uh, are not going to do anything on your body, okay? 
And if they are not inert, or they are very reactive, then they will react with your body, but in a bad way, okay? Um, for example, uh, iron. Uh, if you have a cut, are you going to go and put some iron on that? Like, hey, let's go take some rusty iron and rub that on. You, you know what I mean? Like, you, you'd, uh, I forget the name for it, but, yeah. It's like rust poisoning. Rust poisoning. You'd get rust poisoning. That's what it, that's what it is. Okay, so basically, if, if you rub rust on it, you're going to get rust poisoning. And there's a lot of other elements. Uh, uh, well, basically, all the other elements will harm you if you put them on a cut. Uh, for some reason, silver is special. Um, and in World War, I don't know if it was in both wars, I think I think in both, uh, but I know in World War II, they did uh, use silver bandages, and, and uh, they'd wrap it around wounds and stuff, so like, if you just lost your freaking arm, um, you know, like, that flesh-eating disease that you can get, that like, if it gets infected, it can spread to your, to your whole body. Um, well, I, I have an uncle, actually, that died, uh, because in, in the war there, he lost one of his legs, and it, it's, uh, he had the, I think it's gout, I don't know, what's the word for it? I don't remember, it's flesh, it's a virus that, uh, or bacteria or something that eats away, eats away your flesh slowly. And they had to amputate his foot, like, it just started with his foot. And it went all the way up to his whole body, and, uh, once it reached your, his hips, uh, all your vital organs start running, like, you know, like, they're in your stomach and stuff. So he died, but, uh, it was really nice. And, uh... Yes, but in World War II, they would wrap uh, silver bandages around w uh, wounds and stuff, uh, and it would prevent uh, infection. So it was very useful. Um, some other interesting facts about it. Um, okay, so its chemical its chemical number is forty seven. Um, it is a soft, shiny metal that is a good conductor of electricity. Silver is a precious metal that has been used for many years to make fine pieces of jewelry, coins, utensils, and various pieces of art. In modern times, silver was also used in dentistry, electronics, photography, mirrors, and a number of industrial applications that made use of its unique properties. You may have heard of the term sterling silver, and that is the name given to an alloy. Oh yeah, sterling. I should tell you it was st and sterling silver. Uh, 925 um, is uh, what's used in jewelry. Um, there's also like silver, like sterling silver uh, cutlery, like in silverware, but uh, that's really, really expensive. Like, uh, I don't know, at least 500 bucks or something if you want it new. But um, yeah, I don't, I, silver cutlery is not really my thing. But I'll show you this. It's my silver chain, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's the phone. Hello?